that they... Did he renew your hymen? Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I do God believe, damn, like, I, no, I'm just, I'm just in a place where I'm still healing, and I don't need a man right now. I'm just, okay. God's gonna make it happen. And it's, I'm not rushed or pressed about it. So, do I put down? I got a thing I write down. With Jesus. Do I put single? Are you dating Jesus? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! How long have you been dating Jesus? Since 2022. So for like two years, you'd say? Single for two years, yeah. So when did you convert? So I was always Christian. Well, first I was Catholic, which is very religious. And then I was Southern Baptist, which is also very religious. And it's more... Uh, it's Wait, not you went from being a Catholic to a Southern Baptist? Yes, I know, intense. Everything I do is intense. And then um, now I'm Christian, which is not a religion. It's a relationship with Christ, and that's what we're missing because religion separates, condemns, and that's not why Jesus even came here. Wait, hold on. Christianity is not a religion? Is that what she just said? No! God, please, no! No! Christianity is a religion. Sorry. We shouldn't be debating that. Now, having a relationship with God is key. To nurture that relationship you have with God is true religion. And you've chosen Christianity, which means for that relationship you have with God to continue to grow, you must practice Christianity as a religion. Or am I missing something? I don't know. I'll what? Know. Wait, wait, hang well, on. She what? Means what? Like, what? lawful. What? Like... <laughs> That she's it's not. It's not a. Re, it's not a religion. It, it, no, it's a relationship with God. It's a Bible. Uh, well, it, so it's a relationship with the, God. Christianity. Christianity is the Bible. No, but it's a relationship with God. I don't think that it is actually like religion is the problem. What? So, what? I don't. I don't understand. Okay. Okay. I mean, By I don't definition, it's saying, a religion. Though. But she's saying that like being a Baptist, it came with a whole set of laws. Like, you know, you, you're more so trying to live up to the law, but Jesus died because none of us can actually live up to the law and we need his grace. So she's saying she used to follow a lot of laws, but now she's following intimacy with Jesus. Amen. Oh, Lord. But the intimacy you are following with Jesus, how do you renew it every day if you don't follow what God stipulates in that religion? For you to continue to enjoy God's mercy, you have to follow and abide by his rules. You can only do that by practicing in that religion once you pick up the bible and you start to read the bible and you start to go to church and you start to follow the ten Commandments, then you are practicing a religion or am i missing something what is the problem with this new generation always trying to change things how do you serve jesus if you're not practicing a religion how i'm sorry i, I need to understand that this is getting confusing for me <laughs> if that makes you sense. know um she can talk so yeah. anyway, so back back to you, if you don't mind. Um, I'd like to like to kind of get into this with you, so that I understand your worldview. Um, no, nothing. I'm not not going for you. Nothing like that. I just want to understand. So, yeah. Um, if we can back up just a little bit, you started out as a Catholic, correct? Yes. Okay. I went to mass every morning. I was a kid. My parents kind of just said, "Go to church." We all went to church. It was, you know, when you're a kid, you're being told what to do. How did you veer over to Southern baptism? Uh, they actually came to our door and said, hey, this is what we believe. And my parents then converted and then we did. So it was more of like what our family wanted. And then, um, yeah, I went to church three times a week. I used to have a long skirt, knock door to door. Like if you die tonight, will you go to heaven? Very intense um, upbringing okay. religious wise. Okay, got it. So then mm -hmm. uh, moving over from there, you get into your career, your sex work career, correct? I'm, I'm sorry? You, did you? I'm sorry if I get this wrong. Uh, I was taking notes, but I want to make sure you did have a career in some kind of uh, a sex work. Is that right? So I was in the military um, for nine years, and then okay. once I got out oh, of the wow. military, I did join. Um, okay. I did not actually. Do, Damn, like, you went from the military to doing con. But I did, you know, still show my body online. Hmm. And did you consider that a violation of your Christian values when you did that? Yeah, I mean, I was heavily, heavily <laughs> medicated on perks. I didn't want to. We can say, I think we, I did not want to be on this earth. <laughs> um, and so that really played a big role into it. I went away from God um, and I was a, an addict at that point. At 28 years old, I became an addict. And how long, um, how long did you do the OnlyFans career? Um, since 2019, I got out of it just this, in January this year. Okay, so you would say that you made your headway back to Christianity. And what yes. made you do that? Well, a part of it was I got sober. That's a big part of it. And then also I would go to the meetings that they have. I'm sure you guys know about the 12-step program. Mm -hmm. And then I realized the only way to get sober is to really, and even the program itself was built on the Bible. 
and that's when I went back to my roots. You, and I you mean, started, um, mean the 12-step program? Yes, it was basically okay. built from the Bible, um, but it's a non-religious um, program. And so the more I dug in, the more I became in love with Jesus, my faith, and yeah, I just see the world completely different. My pers perspective, he changed everything for me. So it, if you had to assign your brand of Christianity then, are you going to assign your brand of Christianity as non-denominational, theistic, but non-religious? Is that basically how you're framing it? I would that? say non-denominational, yeah. Yeah, but also not religious? Yes. Okay. Well, so how, how can you follow a religion if you're not in, in the religion? I'm confused about this. So it's a relationship. You give your life to Christ, and then you have a church, obviously a community that reads the Bible, and that's mm -hmm. the relationship. That's the religion. So, but to each so then person, there are things individual. that you have to do in order to adhere to the religious teachings of Jesus Christ to qualify you as a Christian, right? It's good. To follow Jesus Christ, you definitely have to follow a set of rules. You can't just follow Jesus. Oh, yeah, I'm a prostitute. I'm just going to follow Jesus and still be a prostitute. Nah, that, it doesn't work that way, bro. As long as you want to follow Jesus, that means you need to serve and worship God. That's already a religion. Right. Well, you come right as you are. There's no, you have to be this person. You have to, like, he took me in when I was so broken. He okay. can't work with people who have pride, all these different things. So, um, I would say... Of course, the closer you get with God, the more you don't want to do those things. Like, I recently All just right. cleaned up my IG. I recently went through my closet, and I was like, I can't wear some of this stuff. So it's a process. It's not like you you find Jesus, and then you're holy the next day. Like, slowly, he'll start convicting you of things, but it's never from condemnation. Yeah, no, I, I get that. But what I'm trying to figure out here is you do believe that there is criteria to be a Christian, right? I mean, read the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> so reading the bible is all the criteria to following jesus is that what she's saying oh my god <sighs> hey god that's the only criteria you, i mean so read the bible you think, you think that the religion is the book um i just think it's more of a relationship with god i think the second you put religion on it it's it's just a different thing so. Yeah, well, because it... It feels like you have some nightmare from being a Catholic. So you're trying so hard to kind of like not imagine yourself as a Christian in a religion. Like, I don't know how to put that shit, bro. Like, she's just trying to take away that word religion. There's no way you can take away that word religion if you're a Christian. Christianity is a religion. So whatever you're doing, just accept it. Because that's the only way you can truly, fully understand and be able to follow God. Understanding that these are the commandments that comes with following Jesus. Which simply means you're practicing a religion. Yes. When you when you adhere to it as a religion, then you have to have accountability, right? Exactly. So I'll say I'll say non-denominational. Yeah, but it is a religion. Religion. Right? <sighs> yeah. yeah, and it's necessary that you adhere to the rigorism of that religion so that you're accountable for the things that you do, right? I mean, Jesus holds you accountable. There's no people that are holding yeah, you accountable. Yeah, no, no, people. We try so hard to shape God in our own image. Instead of actually understanding that only God can shape in his own image. Oh, you know what? I'm an only family there and I'm trying to follow Jesus. God is just going to accept me for who I am. I'm just going to do nah bro like no 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 if you want to follow god you follow god if you don't want to follow god you don't that is just what it is wow okay look the thing is you come to god as you are but you don't have to stay as you are Go into the comment section, tell me what you think about this girl. Do you think she'll find a way to God or do you think she's just dancing around trying to just create this ideology in her head while she's still living in the world? Let me know. And if you're new to this channel, all you can do for me is subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss my future update. And on that note, I say thank you once again for joining me on Shot Boss. Until I see you again, peace.